Hi, it's Matt, welcome back to the shop. And today someone asked me, uh, today, no, someone asked me, sent me a, a, a Facebook message saying there's something they don't quite understand. Um, they actually sent me two questions. Oh no, there was one and then the other, which were, you know, heavily based around the same thing. Someone asked me, why don't they use big ass um, roller bearings and all the rest of it in cars? Uh, you know, why do they use them? What did he say? Little shitty thin bearings, shell bearings. Why do they use shell bearings in cars and not proper bearings as he put it? Well, like I said to him in the comments, news for you mate, is that most motorbikes that are bigger than fucking 5cc, um, well, bigger than 125s and 250s or what have you, have uh, shell bearings. Shell bearings, plain bearings are the way to go and we'll go into that in a later video of why exactly. What I want to get at is the comment or the message that someone sent me on Facebook, which was about these little bastards. These fidget dickheads. I can't stand these things. They do my fucking head in. I don't know why. I know what they're for. You know, they were for um, ADHD kids or whatever to try and keep them, you know, if they've got something to sit here and spin that's quite, you know, therapeutic. Does my fucking head in, to be quite honest. And someone said... If you look, if we just stop this for a second, he said inside it's just a plain bearing, uh, just a, a standard skateboard um, rollerball bearing. I said, yeah, yeah, that's right. He said, uh, so how come, he said, one thing I don't understand is how come when you spin this, just the once, we're going to fucking wait for it. It goes forever. He said, how come this does this? Come on. Oh God. I think I'm getting cancer waiting for this thing. <laughs> yeah, you can see it takes fucking forever. And then if you get a screwdriver and pop off these little thumb um, covers to put your thumbs in, you can quite clearly see, you can quite clearly see that it's just, you know, it's just a skateboard ro roller bearing. And what I've got here is I've got some really tasty Castrol, expensive shit. So really thin. You know, this is um, what is this? Uh, this is uh, ten forty. Really expensive. So we're not putting cheap shit in it. Put some of that oil in there, like so. Put our thumbtack shit back on it. Give it a couple of turns so we get it nice and lubed and all the rest of it. And he says, "How come?" When we do that and give it a spin, it spins, but it slows down really quickly. Look at that, it's already slowing down. We've lost that sound, but it goes, this is meant to be a lubricant. This is meant to help reduce friction. How come, well, by the look of it, it's increased friction. Let's give it a right good wing round. Even when we give it a right good wing round, and let the oil heat up and all the rest of it. It slows down, it's fucking slowed down. We were waiting forever before. So we've got rid of the noise. And he says, well, surely the noise is energy. I said, yep, you're right, the energy, that's the noise. The noise is energy. So it's leaking away energy and surely this is losing less energy to noise. How come this thing hardly fucking spins? You know, it's literally a fifth of the time to slow down what's going on if that's the case why don't we run bearings dry see it's already stopped again well it's quite simple it's because with a free floating system like with a fidget spinner when we just had it um there is no load there is the weight of gravity and then when we spin it uh, we're giving it kind of like a centripetal force so it's kind of flinging out a bit so there's very little contact and there's no load, there's no real load on them bearings. Compared to what the bearings can take to the load of gravity, it is fuck all. And the reason why we oil bearings is because of load. You know what I mean? So we need to put, um, you know, we need to basically, we load up the bearings. We put some weight on it, that's the best way to think about it. We put some weight on them bearings. So when you've got something free spinning like this, right, when you've got something free spinning like this, because there's no real load on it, it will spin for absolutely fucking ages like you saw originally. Now that we've put the um, 
lubricant in there, the oil in there, what happens is, is the oil is actually, uh, you have to now push the oil out of the way. As the balls go around, they have to push the oil out of the way. Oil has stiction, it has resistance. And we have to be, you know, the bearings are trying to push their way. And because they're trying to push their way through a medium, instead of rolling on a point contact, before we had a bearing race like this for the inner bearing of the inside race, and then we had our ball on it like this. And this ball has a very small contact patch, very, very small. It's a point contact on the bottom of each bearing. Now, now what we've done is we've basically just filled this up with lubricant. And there is now friction between um, the lubricant. You know, you're trying to drag that lubricant round in a circle. And that takes energy out of the system and it slows down due to basically friction. So you'd think that lubrications actually cause friction. They do it in a, in a surface, you know, in something that's unloaded. Now, when we actually run mechanical devices, and obviously we put a load on them, we put preloads on the bearings, there is axial, um, there's radial forces, axial forces, there's all these forces that are trying to move everything out of the way, you know, putting load on things um, when we increase the speeds and all the rest of it. Now, if it was just point contact, because these loads are high, because these forces are high, um, instead of having a little pissy force, which is just the weight of the fidget spinner, you have a massive force in comparison because it's loaded up. And the friction between that point contact and this in a race would be so high that they'd literally start to burn, uh, they would literally start to melt, and they'd melt and weld together, which is not good. You know, obviously, the bearing would expand, which means that it starts to increase the force against the inner and outer race even more, and it all just becomes fucking horrible and nonsense. The lubrication in this case acts as a coolant. It gets in between there, in between the ball. So even though it is a higher force instead of just free spinning, when there's a load involved, that oil film, it's easier to skate on oil than it is a hard point-to-point -point contact. And that's how they work. It increases the life of your bearings. Yes, there is more initial resistance to overcome, but as soon as you get everything flowing and as soon as that oil heats up and goes a hell of a lot thinner and all the rest of it, it's all gravy and it's all good. The reason why your fidget spinner spins for ages is because there's just literally no load on it whatsoever. You know, when you pack the you pack bearings with grease, yeah, everyone don't want to fucking move. You know, if we pack this with grease, it won't want to fucking move and I would get the grease, but I can't bother. You get the point. Hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in a bit.